What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Vans Gaming coming back at you live with The Walking Dead, the road to survival gaming app. And in this video, it's going to be about me trying to help you guys. I'm um, trying to pass the ultra rare gear um, stages here, so we'll go ahead and cancel out. So I already just completed it, um, but I, you know, I was thinking about it and a lot of people um, actually did you know, message me saying they needed help with elite ge rare gear. So this is more tr towards the people that are kind of um, a little bit new to the game. Well, not essentially new because I feel like when you're new, new, you obviously can't pass this, this elite um, ultra gear um, until you're kind of maybe in the middle. So uh, definitely, you know, try to get your all your tunes level to get like a bunch of four, four stars, participate in a bunch of events, and then you can probably do it. So this is so this is more towards kind of the middle end players, you know, still um, using, um, you know, the. Uh, Still so using like defense down, attack down, the uh, the little, uh, what you call it, the little tablets. I totally forgot what those are called. So I can go ahead and check right here. So these right here, the tear gas vials, um, ner nerve gas vials and stuff like that. I just have them here just in case. I usually rarely ever use them now, but I remember I would use them 24-7. I would always tell myself that um, I wish I had about like 100 or, or at least 10 grenades. And finally now I have like... 168 grenades so um yeah that, those were the good old days um but um now i have everything that i need so i'm gonna kind of just show um you know kind of just um tell you guys you know what i use for my farm team i did i do have a farm team video of what my farm team consists of for walkers only and then i'm gonna be talking about um, human stages for this one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and recap real quick for my farm team i will leave the link down below where it's just based on my walker team um which is the zombie team and then I'll move on to the human stage in this video here so just to recap here I use obviously you have to use a drop leader because you want to make sure that you have a higher chance of getting a school an extra school bag or an extra walkie talkie so either you know any you know any is good essentially I just use Shane for the fact that the rest of my rest of my tunes here are mostly red based and you know Shane just gives off that uh um, um, you know, all teammates get 3% attack against strong characters, you get a medium bonus to item, a drop chance, so he really, relatively does nothing, um, against walkers, he's just there just cause, you know, everything else is red, um, so I just put him there, but uh, essentially you can put Richard, you can put Green Morgan, you can, um, a lot of people prefer melee, um, zombie walker teams to use, um, I love using range, the only reason I have Michonne here, I will get to her in just a second of why I use her, um, and then I have Garrett here, the reason why I have Garrett is for his heal, the 75, um, of their max HP of all teammates, so, you know, sometimes I don't, you know, sometimes my tunes do get bit, you know, I don't pay attention, so definitely, he definitely saves me, um, from, you know, my tunes getting killed, and also Rick here, um, not just because he heals, you know, I do have Garrett for that, but he also gives that 30 crit whenever I need him, but I actually rarely ever use him, he is 76 AP, and I use this 4 star Rick right here, um, cause he's 56, a 56 AP, and he gives the same crit, 30 crit for 3 turns, so usually by the time the, the 3 turns are up, Rick usually, um, has his AR up again, so I just kinda use him over and over, but for some reason, if his, cr if his crit does not go up, then I, then I have this Rick to back, to back up on so then he gives me his crit and then finally i have my mich slice and dice not slice and dice my spring slice michonne here which gives that camouflage for two turns so when i get really into a pickle with zombies or walkers or whatever you want to call them um then uh, i use the camouflage which i believe gator has it as well um you know everybody hates gator but you know he'll give you that camouflage and i i can't think at the top of my head right now what other tunes have camouflage but definitely if you have this michonne you definitely want to incorporate her into your walker team so definitely use her there if you get really into a pickle there so she's the only melee tune that i use here um essentially so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys, you know, just um, the first stage of the zombies. I did make a video about this as well, but, you know, I'm kind of just recapping, and then I'm going to go over ahead and talk about the human um, human part of it. So let's go ahead and select the supporter. Obviously, we want a uh, supporter that um, is a drop lead as well because, you know, we want the chances of the walkie and school bag. So I'm definitely, you know, going to go ahead and choose this Morgan here, and we're going to go ahead and kill some walkers. 
and <laughs> got a recheck you have the right team or else you know it'll be a waste of 24 energy i've done that plenty of times so right off the bat here i actually do use something here i use my sharpshooter um just off the bat because sometimes i will not get crit at all and this will help with that so gonna go ahead and give some crit there and then look at look at all those crit shots a bunch of headshots and then i just use my melee first and then my range here um just to get him down here and then once i have um rick's ar up i go ahead and use his ar watch this guys go ahead and do that and then i always leave to use this um to click that michonne um till the end here so first i do that and then i make sure if any zombies are left over if i didn't crit shot them and they're really close to my tunes i will set her off so she camouflages everybody there and uh yeah, pretty much crit shot galore. Also, guys, they all have crit weapons. The uh, precise spec ops SMG. All the alert characters have it. I don't disassemble those. Even though I get made fun of of not disassembling them, I think they help loads. So I make sure all of them have spec ops. And then this Michonne has the Ezekiel precise keen, which has the 30 crit. And then obviously the supporter. It's whatever your faction mates has on it um, at the time. But um, usually I get a lot of headshots from the um, ultra, so it's really good to have it. And I believe that most of that is part of the weapons. Um, but of course you can use whatever weapon you want. I just believe it'll be a little bit more uh, not I'm not gonna say difficult, but it'll take a little bit longer to do um, But um, also, you know a word of advice, you know if you're just starting out I don't want you to do what I'm doing right now, which is kind of just click in on whatever zombie um, If you see a zombie that is cr close to you like this one right here that I'm clicking you definitely want to hit that zombie you want to like um, tap it and make sure you have all your tunes set set its sights on it and make sure you kill it and then the other closest zombie you kill it as well and just like that so you know once you get pretty high up there like in a veteran kind of player way then you can just you know click you know all your tunes at random and just hit whatever zombie but in the be you know even in the beginning and in the middle I had to you know click them one at a time and make sure that um, they I because I, sometimes you won't get the crit you won't have the crit weapons right off the bat and you're gonna essentially have to kill them off you know by hitting them one at a time until their health goes to zero because sometimes you won't even get the crit so definitely you want to make sure you tap them and make sure you kill them off before they get really close to you because they will take out your tunes um, if they're low leveled so like, like this right now I'm clicking this tune so make sure I have all my tunes set on it then I click this tune and then you click that one so if you guys see what I'm saying you gotta make sure you click the closest walkers that are going next to your tunes here like this one right here she was about to bite Shane's face off even though Shane may like it but um so we gotta go ahead and attack her there but thankfully we get crit this is the closest one here and then this is the closest one there and then that's you just keep doing that you, you gotta make sure you don't just click any random tunes like I'm doing right here like I just did right now because um, if you don't get crit on them and then they keep getting closer to you then that's definitely not a good sign when you could have killed off some zombies right off the bat with all your tunes so that's essentially you know what happens um, so we got one more round left actually let's see if I get a walkie or bag while recording <laughs> I doubt it um, okay so we got one we got we got that bag there um, let's see if we can get uh, nope we did not get an extra um, there because you would know if you get an extra if you see another yellow bag but unfortunately we did not and this zombie did not want to get down look at that look at all that health but luckily Garrett saves the day and we kill him off essentially if that happened I would use Michonne but it was the last it was the last stage so um, didn't have to do that essentially so there we go didn't get anything from there and now we're gonna move on to the stage two which is the human stage part here so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to um, which tunes that I use for this so here you go guys this is my setup for human stages I actually did you know and didn't make that long ago so first of all first and foremost you gotta make sure that this um, your leader here is a drop tune lead because you know you want that extra walkie you want that extra bag so you got to make sure you know you put it in there and it's you know it's essentially hard I'm sorry if I keep saying essentially a lot I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with my life but um it's kind of hard you know because you know there is better tunes you can incorporate as your leader obviously to make it quicker in these human stages and you can do that but it's just the fact that you know your chances at getting the walkie or the an extra bag is you know gonna be it's even slimmer if you don't use a drop tune lead and then I have my shield in the show here so if you don't have a shield that's perfectly okay um, the reason I have her here is just in case 
um, you know, I need, you know, I need everybody to take the damage on her because one of my other tunes is dying and I don't want, want other, any other of my tunes to die. So, you know, if you have a shield, definitely put it in there. But if you don't have a shield, I would suggest, you know, I honestly love her for her rush. Just try to use an adjacent hitter. She's an adjacent and she gives the attack debuff. So maybe, you know, you can um, trade her in for a Davy um, right here and you can trade her in for a Larry. Um, I, you know, I, I use her because she's a shield, but I also like, you know, her attack, attack debuff. But if you don't have an attack debuff, then you can, you know, just use any other adjacent hitter. And then going back on this Richard, the reason why I use him as my drop tune lead is because he's an adjacent hitter as well. So when I hit the humans with his, um, with his rush right here, which is the defense debuff, and then I use the Michonne here, which is the attack debuff, then they'll have minus attack minus um defense and it's like using a tear gas or a nerve gas file so so i don't have to use any of those and then right here i have my neutralize um so i don't want you know those annoying ass human um um human human tunes that you know go off and they give you the um attack debuff yeah those are super annoying so i make sure i have tyrese here or you just use any type of neutralize you have to neutralize you know it's usually those alerts that do that but there's some blues that do that that you'll see in just a second here so i use him for that and as well you know his rush isn't bad as well is why i use him too um, instead of my um, double X um, Tyrese here, he does give a good 50% defense, which is good, and also in a, to a line of enemies, 300% um, um, damage, so there's that. And then we have Pete um, here. I know a lot of people may not have Pete, so what I would do to, you know, trade him off is someone like a Yellow Tyrese, which gives that defense buff, or a Green Morgan, which gives that defense buff, so definitely any defense buffs here, like Pete, I use him because he gives that 100% defense for one turn, and he regains 60% of their max HP, so definitely, um, that's, that's what Tyrese does, that's what Green, Green Morgan does, so definitely you can trade those off there. And lastly, I use Andre here. <clears throat> um, it's kind of, you know, she's kind of just a filler in general, but I'm kind of loving her in the setup just for the fact of that eagle eye. She just takes down those reds with one swing when I need her. So, you know, maybe, you know, just put the Andre in there. I feel like everybody would have one Andre by now, or, you know, if you're saving up for her, definitely get her from the depot. She's still an amazing tune for anything. Um, that 800% damage to one enemy is no joke. She'll take one down, and there you have it there. And then obviously for um, for supporter, I kind of uh, th actually try to choose the best <laughs> drop lead for this. So usually I try to use um, Ezekiel here um, because he gives that 80% attack and 40% 40 40 defense. So another attack buff and a 40 uh, and a defense buff so that works too so i use him i incorporate him in there and let's go ahead and try this i'm gonna have to use a can there um try this um human stage here so i can show you guys and also i'm gonna be using vials here to show you um how to kind of get through them because i don't usually use the vials or anything um maybe the smelling sal salts if something goes wrong but i'll show you guys here in a second okay so First of all, what I do is I find that the red ones are the most annoying ones. So what I go ahead and do is um, give them a defense debuff here so I get them there. And then I don't want these guys to hit that hard, so I give them an attack debuff. And then I go ahead and I make sure I click Ezekiel just to make sure he doesn't die that quick, but he may. Um, so I go ahead and just pick on this alert tune here. And oh yeah, see Ezekiel's almost down. So that's why I have my shield here. So then I'm going to go ahead and pick on her again and go ahead and shield. And then I'm going to go ahead and heal with my Pete. So definitely a good thing to have a healer in here. And i um, going to go ahead until I have the rushes that I need here in a second. Um, okay, so I think everything is good here. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap her here. Use um, Zeke's buff for that attack buff. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjacent them with a defense debuff here. Try to, uh, you know, give them a little damage there. And um, hopefully get him down. Hopefully no one rushes now. Um, okay, so we're good. And then what we do here is we're going to eagle eye this chick to the face because she's going to rush soon. And there we go. See, there we go. See, that's why I use the Andre in there because that eagle eye. Or else that one would have um use her ar and it would have been super annoying and then i just get get ar ar off there so if you just want an attack buff off the bat if you're you know mostly melee based or range based here then you know you either get the hollow point rounds or i forgot what the other one was called but there's a melee that gives an attack buff as well 
Um, okay, so so we're gonna do the same thing here, guys. So we just give the defense debuff here, and then the attack debuff above there. It's essentially, you know, which one you want to take down first, which one you find the most annoying. I find these, the the ones with the uh, um, 120 damage uh, uh, and cause 3 30 damage, bleeding for five turns to a group of enemies. 30% um, damage and negative 20 attack for 3 turns to a group of enemies. And yeah, see, these are the, the most annoying ones here. So, I'm gonna try and take him down and try to. Um, okay, so everyone's AR is up. So, first of all, what I'm gonna do now is give everybody a, a quick heal there. So, they get a heal. And then they're gonna get an attack buff with Ezekiel. So, they get an 80% there. Then I'm gonna give them a defense debuff. So everyone now is cake, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Michonne here for her adjacent hit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Tyrese here for the line of enemies, and then what I'm gonna do is just eagle eye this chick to the face, and bam, I just have one tune left, and if, you know, if all goes to worse, all these tunes will not be able to take her down, I have Tyrese here for that neutralize, and um, she didn't need to be neutralized, but he was there for that. And there you have it, folks. That's how, you know, essentially how I get through my um, human stages nowadays. So here, um, this I'll show you guys I don't really, how I use, don't use the vials. I just kind of just pick on a tune. I go ahead and just shield until everybody's AR is up, until I can use everybody's AR. So then I'm going to go ahead and shield again. Um, Michonne's not going to die for the fact she does have a tank weapon, so definitely make sure she has that tank weapon there. Um... For some reason, I cannot click the tune. There we go. So she has, make sure, you know, if you use a shield, you use a tank weapon first so she doesn't die too quick because the uh, Ultra Gear Human Sages definitely pack a punch. And then the uh, the rest of my um, blues here, they just have a regular mi military shotgun. Make sure you have the max defense or um, HP boost you can put on them. And then, so just like all these blues. And then for Pete here, I make sure, you know, he has an attack and then a um, an HP boost. And then, you know, whatever, you know, my uh, teammate put for their Ezekiel there. But that's essentially what I have for weapons-wise. So now that everybody's AR is up, I'm going to go ahead and heal real quick. And then I'm going to use the attack buff. And then go ahead and do that. And then get these ladies off the bat there. There we go. And um, then I can go ahead and use Michonne here now that she's up. And go ahead and take this dude down here. Bam! Out of the waters. And neutralize them there just in case. So that's essentially what I do. So, for example, again, just pick on that tune. Go ahead and shield. Um, so now that Michonne is almost down, so then I just don't go ahead and shield. So everybody can just have a pick off everybody. Oh, Ezekiel with 8 HP. Thank God. Can go and heal him. Get that attack buff. Get her down, pig. Um, probably do the middle there since it's a red and then just pick on these blues here which won't do that much damage there um, there we go neutralize that one and whose AR do I want to go up first there we go out of the waters and we got our last stage left here and I think I get everyone's AP with one turn not one turn with uh, but just by shielding hopefully Michonne takes those punches yes she does she is a beast then we're gonna go ahead and heal up Attack, debu attack buff and then defense debuff on the enemy attack debuff on the enemy and oh did we get two yellow no I was just saying things because then Andrea is like all shiny and shit so too bad so sad and then the middle one thankfully you know it's usually always a red alert lead and she's kind of tough to kill if you obviously been through these stages so then we have Andrea to take her out there and then we just have this guy to take out and bam out of the waters just like that ladies and gentlemen he got out of there so yeah guys that's how i do my human stages hopefully you know i helped on how to you know kind of composition your your uh kind of a human team so here's just a recap of what i do uh, an adjacent um defense debuff for the enemy an adjacent attack debuff for the enemy a neutralize a healer and a um a really strong hitter so you know if you have the uh you know a strong hitter like i don't know who who to use an example um I think the uh, four star. I do have the four star Negan here. You know, if you don't have, you know, obviously that many five character. He, you know, he does 400% damage to one enemy. So that, you know, that's you know pretty close. 
you know, if you just have four stars, you know, definitely could use them there. And, you know, if you have a Molly, like right here, she, you know, you can use her as a healer. And uh, for the neutralize, you know, there's four star neutralize tunes um, right here, like Luke. I'm pretty sure everybody has a Luke, so you can use Luke there. So you can essentially, you know, use a lot of stuff. And then, you know, for the adjacent attack debuff, um, you know, just, just try, you know, if you four stars, you know, there's some adjacent hitters, so, you know, just incorporate... Um, you know, if you don't have, like, Richard, that he has the defense debuff, and the, um, Michonne has the attack debuff, if you don't have those, then, you know, just try to use, you know, the closest that you can, if any 4-star adjacent hitters that you have, or 5-star adjacent hitters that you have, you know, will work great. So, yeah, guys, hopefully I helped here, is just a look back at the, um, this is what I use for my humans, and then for my farm team here, that which I will link, leave in the link down below, I kind of explained it a little bit more, I think, um, link down below for, you know, just based on the farm, um, Walker farm team, but here's just a recap again. So, yeah, guys, hopefully I helped, um, Definitely, if you have any questions about, you know, how to still pass Ultra Rare gear, what to do, you know, just any questions about that, definitely leave it in the comments, and I will comment back to you guys to try to help you out. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Again, hope it helped. You know, um, if you if it did, if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like and a subscription. mean the world to me, guys. And if you have any questions about anything else, you know, pertaining to my content, anything random, you just want to say hi, comment down below as well. I, always, I will always comment back. And thank you for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.